So, I received an email from um, this guy. He wanted to know, hey, you know, if I jump into a rebound relationship with some, you know, with a friend I know from the past, will that help me get over my, you know, my current ex? You know, is that a good idea? No. Hell no. So what you want to do is take the time out to work on yourself and better yourself. You know, be isolated for a while, you know, until you get your thoughts and your feelings in check before you jump into another, you know, relationship with someone else. Because if you jump in a relationship with, you know, with someone else and you're not over the past, you're going to mess that person up because you're going to start comparing it to you won't be no better than your ex who did jump into a rebound relationship with someone else. You'll be, the do, you'll be doing the same thing that that person is doing. So you you will be turning your that person into into a painkiller, someone to numb the pain of your you know your previous relationship. So I don't recommend that you know do something like that. Stay to yourself, be by yourself. Isolation is a gift. Be alone, work on yourself, better yourself. Go to the gym, you know, work on your body, improve your body. Read a couple new books or so, you know, listen to some audio books. Study on um, female nature. Take the red pill. We females, just, you know, study self-improvement books and stuff like that. Get your finances in order, things like that. Save up. Go on trips. You know, go to a different environment. Relationships shouldn't be on your mind. If you're coming out of a relationship, the weakest thing for you to do is jump into another fresh relationship. Take the time out the hill. You know, get your mind in check. You know, you don't want to just jump into a new relationship and stuff like that. You know, um, I know you ask me a lot of times in the email, but like, well, you know, you have sexual needs and you want to, you know, get those fulfilled and things of that nature. Man, just if you can get control of your sexual needs and your urges, then, you know, you winning. Because a lot of time, most men, we are driven by our sexual urges. If we can get, you know, a grip on that and get control of that and just, you know, dumb that down just a little bit, you know. And when, when you do get in a relationship with someone else, you can see that person for who they really is. You just ain't looking at them just for sexual needs and stuff like that. Because a lot of times people are misled by, you know, through their sexual needs. You got to look at a person's character and stuff like that. But the more of this video is this, um, should you jump into a rebound relationship, you know, to help get over your past, previous relationship? No. No. Don't play. And another thing, too, don't play tit for tat. If your previous ex jump into a rebound relationship or monkey branch to someone new, don't be like, well, I'm going to do it too. And I'm going to show them that two can play this game. You don't want to be doing no silly ass stuff like that. You know, you, you're supposed to be grown. You know, just say like, look, that's what you want to do. More power to you. Throw them away. That's what you want to do. Go be over there. Now, the thing is, don't be living in your emotions. all in your feelings and stuff like that. Ask a silly ass question. Like, well, do this person, do my ex love this person? Is my ex happy with this person? Well, that person that they monkey branched to is better than me because my ex went to him. No. No. It can just be infatuation. But don't worry about that. It's your life. Worry about yourself. When you worry about yourself, those things fall up, just fall to the wayside. Love yourself. Put yourself on a pedestal. Date yourself. Then when you get through those stages, date yourself and enjoying your own company and enjoying the single life and you can sleep good at night knowing nobody's cheating on you or doing all sorts of silly monkey monkey dancing and all that stupid stuff behind your back, that's when you, your inner peace and all that stuff just comes right back. Now trust me, the, your ex that went out there and did all those crazy monkey branch and all those silly ass stuff like that. That's you karma gonna handle that nature gonna kick in and take care of that for you just but you gotta work you gotta let it go and move out the way see the thing is there's a high higher calling set in order to fight your battles if you believe in that 
If you believe in God, God gonna step in and fight fight your battles. It's just the natural order of things. So, with that being said, no, work on yourself. Isolation is a gift. You know, isolation is a gift. Do the hard work so you can have an easy life. Now, with that being said, if you'd like to get in contact with me, you can send me an email at mcfadden.1. It's at the bottom of the screen. If you don't want to send me an email, you know, you can text me what's going on in the number in the description. You can text me what's going on, things of that nature. To the guys and you know, to the people that like to read audio book or not audio books, but you know, Kindle books. You know, you can um go to Amazon and take a look at my Kindle book. It's you know, it's quick read, like a little quick guide on what you what you can do and just have something with you all the time. You know, you can just pull it out, read it, and stuff like that. Now, with that being said, I want you to pray for one another, watch out for one another, and just steady improving yourself. You know, put God in your life, put God first, and everything will fall in place. So, with that being said, isolation is, isolation is a gift. Peace. I'm gone. I'm out.